versus. And now for our main event of the week. From the Police Defense Fund, you know him from his creeper vibes and his hair shaped like a water slide, Eric Nelson. And in the opposing corner, Mr. Williams. He's just a black guy. He was just going about his business on a Monday. He's just a black guy trying to live his life. This week's Big Trial Showdown is brought to you by Minnesota Made Delicate Whites. Yes, that's Delicate Whites. They go great with fine dining engagements, look right at home in an expensive dining room, and made with the whitest and most delicate materials found on earth. Originated in Duluth and are now available pretty much everywhere you go. Remember, they're not fragile, they're delicate, delicate whites. All right, let's get into the showdown here at the Hennepin County Government Center. Derek Chauvin's defense attorney, Eric Nelson, and Donald Williams. Here we go. And as you continued your wrestling career, you testified that you wrestled all the way through high school and then into college for a couple of years as well. That's right? correct. And you would agree that wrestling is a sport. Wrestling is a lifestyle. Ooh, Eric must have got traded because he don't know who he playing with. His ignorance is highlighted and showing on the marquee tonight. And I do love that Black Excellence t-shirt you can low-key see on Donald Williams shining a little bit through that crisp, nice dressed tee. I see you, Donald. I see you. Back to the action. So again, sir, it's fair to say that you grew angrier and angrier. You know, I grew professional and professional. I stayed in my body. You can't pay me out to be angry. Ooh, Eric can't be telegraphing his punches like that if he's gonna have any success here. He's going full Amy Cooper when he should be playing the cards closer to his chest and not criminalizing the emotions of a black man. He really played himself on this one. He went from putting George Floyd on trial to Mr. Williams on trial, and I'll tell you what, he's not winning either. Back to the action. After you called him a bum 13 times, you called him a fucking bum. That's what you heard? Did you say that? Is that what you heard? I'm asking you, sir. I'm pretty did sure you I say did. that? You heard it. I'm pretty sure you did. You call him a fucking pussy ass bitch. If that's what you heard, I'm sure that's I'm what I'm asking did. you, did you say that? If that's what the video recorded, so I did. You called him a bitch. If that's the video you heard from the video? It's a yes or no, sir. If that's what was heard in the video, yes, I did. I'm gonna go ahead and guess that Eric hasn't used the F word since 97 or really ever. It sounds about as foreign to him and his vocabulary as morals do right now. You also gotta ask yourself, what side is he on as he keeps asking people to repeat just how they cussed out the cops that day? And you observed Officer Tao push someone else, right? Or feel like you, he pushed someone else? I didn't let him touch anyone else. Do you recall saying, I dare you to touch me like that, I swear I'll slap the fucking, the fuck out of both of you? Yeah, I did. Hot flaming Cheetos! You know who doesn't need a code switch translator? Donald! You know who's gonna slap the fuck out of somebody if they touch them again? Donald! And do you know who's getting verbally slapped the fuck out of? Eric Nelson. I'm gonna tell you right now, Chuck, there's a few takeaways that you can take away from the first week here on the Derek Chauvin trial. One, Mr. Williams is not the one. Number two, Tutau was thoroughly, and we here at Onside Public Sports believe righteously, cussed out up and down that day. And lastly, it seems like Eric Nelson, the defense attorney, has never wrestled a day in his life or seen a wrestling match of any kind a day in his life. How does it feel to be in the ring there, fella? All right. And we're not gonna let Eric Nelson leave without you know, a highlight reel of what's gone down this past week. So here's some of Eric's most shiniest, brightest moments. Take it away. I'm in a boxing match, right? Yeah. Um, I can't kick you, for example. No. But if I'm in an MMA fight, I may punch you, I might kick you, I might choke you, I, short of biting, right? No, I grew professional and professional. I stayed in my body. You can't pay me out to be angry. You ultimately ended up posting your video to social media, right? Correct. And it went viral? Correct. And was that a surprise to you? Definitely. Changed your life, right? And this trial is going to change yours too, Eric. It definitely is going to change your life as well.